Hello, this is Randy with Excel for Freelancers, and today we're going to show you this amazing trick of using horizontal tabs within an Excel worksheet, and it's a great way to display lots of data in a small area. Alrighty, let's get started. I've got my horizontal tabs worksheet open here. And as you can see, it's been divided up into three sections. Um, I've got uh, general employee information. Uh, I've got some time clock history uh, detail and I've got an earnings history table. So I've got these three sections. And basically the idea is what we want to do for the tabs is to create a tabs that display these sections individually. All right, so here's how we're gonna do that. Uh, what we'll do is we first wanna in, uh, add the shapes. And to do that, we'll go into insert and then shapes. And then we'll go ahead and choose our uh, same side corner rectangle here. And we'll go ahead and uh, just put that out here. Uh, that should be a pretty good size there. We'll make it a little bit longer. And uh, so to do that now, basically all we wanna do is duplicate that uh, five other times. So we're gonna make six of these, three tabs, six shapes. So control D, one, two, three, four, five. And that creates our six individual tabs. Okay, uh, next what we want to do is we want to grab those and differentiate them into two different sets of three. And to do this, I'm gonna use this uh, select objects tool here. If you don't have this tool here in your quick, you know, I recommend you get it when working with sheets. And to do that, all we have to do is go into more commands. And then what we'll do is we select the all commands here and we locate under, and we locate, we're looking for something, we're looking for this, select objects, because it's a really handy tool. And then once you locate it, you'll just add it, click and add it over to that. Since I already have it, it's not gonna be there. But that's a great way to get that tool. And to, to this tool is gonna, once we click that tool, we can then go ahead and select. So we're gonna select three of them, okay? And we're gonna move those over, we're gonna separate those. And then we got, we've got three. So, so that's a great way to separate and then just make sure you unclick the select objects tool when you wanna go back to working in our mode. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna diff, we've differentiated our, our three different tabs. And um, we will select, another way to select multiples, uh, hold the control down and then select. So we've got three of these. Now we wanna change the look of three of these tabs. And to do that, uh, we can go here to format alignment or we can right click and format the object. And we wanna change the fill color. And what I wanna do is I wanna change it to this background color, a part of it. So we'll go to a gradient fill here, okay? And linear is good. And then we're gonna go from light to dark, okay? Which is good, and it's actually already set up on mine. You might have three, three tabs, so if you have an extra one here, you know, that you're looking at, just click there and then remove it. So basically you want a two different gradient stops. Okay, so uh, our dark stop, we're going to go from light to dark. So our darker stop uh, will be this color here. We're gonna use this because this is the same as our background color. And then our second stop here will be, we'll go with a lighter color. So we're gonna go from light to dark. Okay, so that we have this, uh, this look okay and then close that okay so now you see it's got the light to dark and the idea is for the dark part to match the background okay and the border looks a little bit thick on these so let's change the border but I don't want to change them all so I'm going to go back into our select objects and I'm going to I'm going to select all of them and then what we'll do is we're going to change the border to a little bit smaller border so into format uh, shape outline and then we'll take the weight down to perhaps about uh, one point. That would be good. Okay. And now we've, now let's go ahead and change the look of these. We'll surround those and uh, we'll go into format and then maybe we will, uh, let's give it a flat dark blue look. So now we've got uh, three different tabs uh, in three different, in two different sets, three tabs each. Okay. Now let's, uh, go ahead and insert a border so that we can encompass all of those. So we're going to uh, basically take this shape, which is our rounded rectangle, and we're just going to, um, let's see, give it a nice uh, border here, okay? 
and obviously we don't want to fill on that we're just looking for a border so we'll click uh, no fill on that okay and we're going to make this also the same uh, thickness on the weight so we're going to also go to one point here okay and we can lower that a little bit and change the, change the look of it okay so now our, our tab is starting to come into okay and the important thing is the idea is we want to move uh, we want to basically hide columns and show columns based on you know the click of a tab but what we don't want to do is we don't want to move any of these shapes so once again back on the select objects and we're gonna take all of our shapes okay all of our shapes and then we're going to right click and go into size and properties and basically we want to say hey we we want to we don't want to move or we don't want to size any of these shapes we want them when we change the columns we want the shapes uh, to stay the same spot and we don't want them to change the size so that's an important don't move or size with cells okay so now we've got that and now let's go ahead and, and uh, place our uh, shapes our tabs we'll just move them over a little bit just so that we can get a good eye on them okay for now so we can differentiate them so we basically the um, the lighter one's going to be for when it's on and the darker one's going to be for when it's off okay so so let's go ahead and give it a name so the lighter one we'll call this uh, general info okay and uh, we also want to obviously it's we don't want it in white so on this one let's go ahead and make this uh, font uh, perhaps a we'll go up to maybe 14 we will change it to let's say Cambria and we'll give it a color of uh, let's say blue this is our standard blue and we can go bold and we want to make that in the center so basically what I've done is I've changed the I've centered the text I've changed it to dark blue and I've given it a different font Cambria and brought it up to 14 okay and uh, we want to also these we're gonna go to a white font so there's something and then uh, also Cambria also 14 and also bold okay except this one's gonna be white so that we can clearly see the difference okay so we've got general info there I'll move that over so you can see it and then our next is our time clock history so we'll call that time clock okay and our third uh, panel is going to be earnings history so we'll just call that earnings okay and basically we want to do the same thing for the off tabs so general info okay time clock and also earnings okay great and I just want to also center these like I've done before with the others so we'll go ahead and center that okay now the look is starting to come together and now what we're going to do is let's just place all of them horizontally even so that we can see a line on other bottoms and we'll place them and the idea is we want to get it just right basically even with that line okay so now it's even alright so now let's go ahead and move that over and bring this over here so that everything lines up nicely okay great and now the idea is we can start to assign macros to these and the idea is when we're going to click this shape we want this to show up when we click time clock we want this table to show up you know and the same things for earnings here all right so to do that uh, we would use macros to do that but let's go ahead and place place them properly so we want general info we want these to be directly on top of each other okay so we want general info and all also aligned to the left okay so they're actually directly on top of each other same thing with time clock also aligned to the left and then earnings also so that all the shapes are on top of each other go ahead and click that alright so now they're directly on top of each other and a great way to see what you've selected is under page layout um, selection pane this is helpful this shows that we've got two selected so if we wanted to select all we could show all or hide all 
and so this means they're all viewable so that's really helpful if you want to select a specific shape you can do that here we'll close that now okay so now we've got we've got our tabs all set up and correct now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the developers uh, tab here if you don't have that uh, once again go into um, options and you want to go into customize ribbon and make sure you selected the developers tab also you can get to it by clicking alt f11 alt f11 and that's going to get us into the developers tab okay and uh, we don't have any macros or anything running or um, nothing going so we're going to uh, insert right click insert module okay now that we've got our module created let's go ahead and assign a name to that module because uh, in some uh, workbooks you're gonna have a lot of modules so you want to name them differently and you can do that simply by clicking on the properties window here and let's go ahead and give it a name we'll just call it tab max you can give it any name you want it doesn't matter okay and now what we want to do is basically want to we want to differentiate those shapes or tabs that we've created by assigning names to them so we'll, we'll go back into our workbook now and once again we want to click on the selection pane here so that we can see what uh, shapes are visible and uh, what we're going to do is we want to temporarily hide the off buttons which are here so holding down the control button uh, we're going to hide those temporarily so we can name the on buttons and we call those on because <clears throat> that is the button that's going to be displayed when we click the tab so we're going to give each one an independent and unique name to do that we can select the shape we click up here into the name box and we can type in gen and then on because that's going to be on and then we'll go ahead and uh, click on the time and we'll give that a name tim on and uh, also earnings we'll do EAR on okay so now that we've named the three on ones and you can see them here we can go ahead and hide those okay we'll hide those and let's go ahead and show the ones that are going to be off which are here okay so let's go ahead and name these and we'll call this GN off okay hit enter and then the next one TIM off and then EAR off okay so now we've got uh, six different buttons each with different names okay great now this is going to be very helpful when we go into uh, the visual basic editor and we start turning these on and off okay so we can go ahead and hide the shapes now and we can go back into our uh, visual basic editor and we can start creating these uh, subs okay we'll create our first one remember we want to click the double click the modules and we'll just call this sub tab gen okay and then we don't need to put anything in there we're going to create another one sub uh tab okay and uh, we can call that let's say we'll call that time and then we'll call the other ones earnings okay time and then sub tab okay so we have three different sub menus uh, each with different names which is important okay and since we're going to be working with sheet one and each one and only sheet one it's better to use a with so that we don't have to keep typing sheet one inside every line of code so we're going to go with with sheet one and uh, I have some automated software that automatically types end with but you'll want to make sure end with is there okay and uh, we want the same for each of the subs so we'll just copy and paste that and paste that okay so now we have sheet one now we can start each uh, line of code with dot because we've already uh, designated which sheet we're going to be using and what we want to do is shapes we want to turn shapes off and on dot shapes and then with the tab in general info tab what we want to do is we want to when it when clicked we want to display the on button and hide the off button so gen on okay this one we want to display dot visible equals mso true okay that means we want to display the on button when it's clicked but we don't want to display the off button right so dot shapes gen off okay dot visible there dot visible 
equals MSO false, okay? So that's the idea, false, okay? Because we don't want to display the alpha. And for the other two, it's just the opposite, okay? So let's go ahead and copy and paste those, okay? And we'll leave a little space. Now we also have time, okay? Time on, but for time on, we don't want to show the time on. We want to show it's false, right? So uh, once again, if we go back, remember, this time, we this is the off. We want to display this off and we want to display the earnings off, but we don't want to show them on, okay? So that's what we're going to do. So that's going to be false and this is going to be true. Okay, so time off is going to be true. Okay, and uh, I think it was T-I-M, sorry, T-I-M. I'm off, we just used, and uh, so the same thing for our, our last button, and if you remember correctly, our last button was earnings, E-A-R off and E-A-R on, okay? So we want to do the same thing there. Mm. E-A-R on is going to be false. E-A off is going to be true, okay? So that's it. And now the other thing is what we want to do is we want to show certain columns and hide other columns. When, when the tab general tab is clicked. So which columns are those? Well, let's go back into our worksheet and take a look. Now, we're probably going to want to show columns D through K, okay? D through K we want to show, okay? But L through, let's say, AA, we don't want to show. L through AA, we don't want to show. D through K, we want to display, okay? So we can go ahead and put those in program programmably dot range okay once again d through through k okay entire column hidden equals false right we want to show that right dot range l through what was it aa right i believe entire column hidden equals true okay let's double check okay that so d through k displayed l through aa hidden perfect okay so let's go ahead and run that and see what happens okay and running this code we'll run that code okay it's been run although you didn't see it okay and it looks right uh we'll go ahead and minimize that so that you can see that code there. And it uh, looks right. It looks like D through K are hit, are displayed and then the other ones are hidden. So that's just right. Okay, so perfect. That's exactly the way we want it. And you see that the general has been on, the on button is displayed and the off are, so it's perfect. It's just the way we want it. Now all we have to do is simply repeat that process for the other two tabs okay and we can do that by simply copy and pasting it here okay copy and paste the code and then making changes but in this case right in this case the on for the timer we're going to be off false right we don't want the on play and so basically we're just going to go with the opposites on each one of these okay so we're going to change true to false to false to true okay and it's quite simple once you once you get that and then okay and now for the columns uh, what we're going to do is the ones that we're going to show okay let's go ahead and back into our workbook now and we're gonna manually unhide these so we can take a look at them okay so now we want to show L through S okay L through S we want to show Okay, and back into the VBA editor we go. And what we want to do is we want to select L through S as displayed. And then we're going to put in two sets here as hidden. The first, which is D through K, as well as T through through A A A. Okay, so these are the columns that are going to be uh, shown and hidden. Okay, and then we can go ahead and run that and uh, simply by clicking inside there and clicking the green triangle which is the run sub okay and back into our excel and we'll take a look at that it looks like time clock is displayed 
and then general and earnings are off and the time clock is played. So that's working just right. And now all we need to do that is for the remaining uh, one, let's go ahead and go back into that and we'll go ahead and uh, go back into the third one and we'll go ahead and copy and paste, okay? And then what we want basically in this case, the general is also gonna be off, right? The honest, uh, and the time clock, in this case, we want on. We don't want to show the on, but we do wanna show the off. And, and it's just going to be the opposite is for the earnings as well. We want to show on for earnings because this is the one and we want to uh, hide the off. Put that C in there. And uh, so now we're set. All we need to do is set the columns. In this case, T through AA is going to be displayed and D through S is going to be hidden. D through S is going to be hidden. So we can clear that out. Okay, and S. So that's pretty much it. We can go ahead and click inside there and run for this. And we'll go ahead and take a look back in our workbook to see that and it looks like earnings. Great, now all we need to do is assign those macros to the buttons. And uh, there's a good way to do that. We can uh, go into layout here and selection pane. Okay, and now basically we're gonna assign the same macro to each one, so earnings and earnings. Okay, we select both of these, okay and we're going to right click and we're going to sign macro right and all we need to do is tab click tab earning okay so basically we've assigned the same macro to both earnings buttons okay we're going to do the same thing for the time time there we're going to right click assign macro okay and this one's going to be the time okay and then we'll do the same thing for the general info click on both of those buttons both on and off right click assign macro and general okay so now when we click the buttons we're going to get some action okay general info let's go ahead and slide that over open that general info so when we click the on nothing happens because it's already on time clock earnings time clock okay it's working great except we're getting a flash and that's that that happens and I'll show you how to avoid that you see that little flash on the right side uh, we can we can remove that uh, simply by adding a few lines of code and then uh, what we can do here is we can go up to sheet one and let's take a look at that application dot screen updating equals false we're gonna we don't want the screen to update while we're while it's running through the code but once when we turn it off we got to make sure we turn it back on too at the end so application dot screen updating equals true okay and we do the same thing for each one of those so we're going to copy that line of code enter and then enter this and then we're going to turn it back on we want to copy that line of code paste that down there and paste that at the end as well okay so now we've got that now that'll help with our get rid of the flash so now when we click there you see that flash is no longer there and we've got a really smooth click smooth tab entering and that's pretty much how you do it. It's quite simple. Um, you might want to hide the headings there because it gives a nice appearance when you hide the headings. And that's how you create tabs. I definitely appreciate you taking the time to watch this a uh, little bit longer video, but uh, it's a great way and a great tool to show lots of data in a very small area. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and select the send me all notifications options so that you can get our videos to you right away as soon as we create them. Mm -hmm.